Hi guys, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. Um, I've got another unboxing for you. Um, this one arrived before Christmas, but this is the first time I've been able to get in and have a look at it. So I've been really patient. So let's get the, the trash bag off. Um, so I've got a plain box. Um, I know from tracking that this came from the Diamond Painting Factory UK. Um, so let's see. It was delivered uh, to me by Hermes, but prior to that um, had come from China. Although Diamond Painting Factory UK have UK stock, this was not um, not one of them. So, so it's quite sweet. It um, has my name on it, which is nice. Um, so yeah, at least I know it was packaged for me. So that's very cute. Um, it is a, hopefully, <laughs> It is what it says it is, which I ordered a 50 by 50, um, but what they've sent me is a 50 by 60, according to the label. So, but it is a square and there is a little picture on there. Can you see? Um, this is by, let's, let's get it out and then I'll talk about it. Use the crinkling. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to roll it back on itself just to. Okay, so, we, oh, okay, S slightly strangely, um, it's got a different title here, L Lila Corona, um, Corona, um, the official title is Athena, so, and it is indeed bigger than expected, 50 by 60, no complaints. Um, it is a square, it is poured glue, and it's a very pretty image. And um, the artist, I will put up um, a picture of the original so that you can see. Um, the artist is Tamara Lepore, Laporte, Laporte, I'm not sure, um, who goes by Willowing. Um, her, her collection of art is Willowing, and all of her artwork has this lovely kind of storybook illustrative quality um, it doesn't always translate well to diamond painting um, from what I've seen other people unbox um, you do need to go bigger to get some of the details otherwise you lose things like the little crown here on the owl and details like her little sort of tattoo on her neck um, even at this size we do lose some of it but I'm hoping that it'll be even clearer once the um, once the drills are on so let's look at what we get with it seven so let me just hmm. that's a ten Maybe an eight. 
maybe an eight. I don't think you'd quite get ten on there. Um, so got that blue squishy, the pale pink rectangle of wax, and we've got some. Oh, they've lost their little support band. Some tweezers. Uh, they're the bent metal kind. Uh, so, yeah, it's a perfectly serviceable kit. Um, let's look at the drills. Excuse the crinkling. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's a lot. Um, or at least it, it looks a lot in these tiny packages that they've sent. Um, it's just got obviously lots of earth tones because that's what the picture is in. Um, but yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's get you all out of there. And I'll deal with that later. So, we've got, everything has come in these tiny bags, um, so there's a lot of them. Um, they all have DNC, um, they look okay, got some dimples in the back, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. I've never really found that to be a huge problem. Um, let's look at some dark colours. Right, so here we've got, we've got 310. This huge long strip. This reminds me of... I used to be able to get sort of gumballs that came in strips like this. There's so many of them. Um, I guess with them being in these tiny packets, it will make it easier to clear out any junk as I go but I will probably open all these up in one go put them into storage containers and my own baggies because I don't want to be cutting one of these open every I don't know there's maybe 200 I think it's 200 drills in one like this if that um but yeah I have to say they they do look all right um, let's look at the light colour now. So, um, I don't think we've got a got any white. I don't think we do. Uh, no, I guess this is this is the lightest colour that we've got. It's Seven twelve. It looks all right. No complaints other than this is a lot of plastic waste that I'm not hugely impressed with. <laughs> um, trying to find a positive about it, but um, yeah, ultimately, this is a lot of plastic and that doesn't make me happy. Um, but it is what it is. Um, Let's just go back and look at the canvas. Excuse the crinkling. So, let's, I'll leave us zoomed for a little bit. Um, right. We have got um, both ends have got the key or the legend. Um, so we've got those. 
there. 29 colours in total. I'm just going to have a little scooch down and see what else we can see here. Um, a couple of concerns that I've spotted straight out. Let's see if I can... Is we've got... Come on, focus. I don't know if you can see that. We've got a lowercase g and an uppercase g in a very similar colour. So when working on this, I am going to have to really keep that in mind that those two colours, uh, the, the two g's are not the same. I'm just going to have a look through, see if we've got any others like that. That's always a little bit of a worry. Just move you out a little bit. You can enjoy Athena's face while I have a quick look. So we've got Greek lettering, capital R, capital B, which again, capital R, capital B together. They are not the same colours, but... It's still something to be aware of. Um, it's it's not focusing properly on the camera, so it looks a little blurrier than it is, although it's not the clearest canvas I've ever worked on. The black symbols on light colours look fine. It's where they've used a light colour um, that... I think just the edges of the symbols get a little blurry. Um, yeah, we've got an uppercase E in brown and a lowercase E in brown as well. I, I mean, I will check with the supplier, but I would guess this has not been hand charted because I can't imagine anybody hand charting this and then deciding that two G's and two E's was a good way to go. Um, let's just look at the rest of here so we've got s t question mark f percentile parenthesis slash equals less than b o hash ampersand c g x f oh oh no it's not an f that's an e that is the e so you need to be careful of the the capital E on the legend looks like an F. Um, on the canvas, it's okay. Um, plus sign, capital P, A, T. So we've got uppercase and lowercase T, uppercase and lowercase E, and uppercase and lowercase G. That is a bit concerning. Um, I guess it's just something that I'm going to have to be really aware of when working on this. And just be careful. I'm hoping that it won't ruin the enjoyment. Um, and when I kit up, I'll just have to be super careful and really aware of what I'm doing. Um, there are patches of colour blocking, particularly her face. This thing is all pretty much 712. Oh, I'm not showing you that at all. There we go. So yeah, her face is pretty much one colour apart from the rosy cheeks and the shading around her nose and obviously her eyes and stuff. Um, and then most of the rest of it is going to be confetti. I don't mind that. That's okay. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it looks. I will obviously update you. Um, so just to tell you a little bit more about the Diamond Painting Factory UK, um, I queried with them, um, their canvas types because I had seen other people receive canvases that were double-sided and that's not my favourite. So... 
um, they've said that they have now switched to poured glue on anything that's a 40 by 50 or above. Um, they have some UK stock. Um, and then they have other things that are sort of, I, I guess, printed to order, um, which come from China and they come direct. Um, I went onto the website today. It is the 24th of January. Um, and they are currently closed. The whole website is closed for Chinese New Year and they're not showing any stock as being available. I assume that's just because they're closed. Um, but yeah, I think if you're looking for UK stock that's already here and you want a quick, quick delivery, maybe worth giving them a go. Um, they have licensed art from Tamara Lepore, Willowing. Um, they have also Sarah Richter um, and exclusive artwork available from artist Barrett Biggers and Elvira Clement. Um, that's what they're advertising on their website. And um, yeah, so that if you're like myself, passionate about giving back to the artists, not buying stolen artwork, then it's a good option, I think. Um, I'll be interested to see how the quality turns out. Um, this one, as I say, is a 50 by 60 in square and was 24 99 with free postage. So that's all for today. I will let you know how I get on with it when I get started. There's a bit of a backlog at the moment, um, but yeah. Okay, so do give this video a like, consider subscribing, become a member of the Crafty Coven, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So this is editing Arietta here. Um, I had completely forgotten to show you guys that I measured the canvas. Um, so this is just a little extra to let you know that I did measure it and that it measures a true um, size. So it's the, the 50 by 60 is the printed canvas, not the size of the canvas. Okay, so that's all for now. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.